I think it's it's very murky uh, uh, in the media at the moment because of course it's it's more like he says she says sort of thing that's actually going on. Yeah. So we want to basically get it from the Aragalia itself. What's the story? What really happened at the Prime Minister's residence? Were people basically told to gather at Prime Minister's residence? Because we had tweets running around on that day requesting yeah. the people to gather. Did that rile people up at that <clears throat> point for being to be there? And then unfortunate situation, the Prime Minister's residence was set ablaze, which 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 clearly is not the way to go about these things. But what really happened and what, what transpired on that night? I was there. I was there. I was right outside just before people sort of broke in there. <clears throat> and there were there were quite a lot of people behind and yes there were messages going around people were putting up stories on instagram people were putting up posts on facebook saying people gather at lotus road people they need support police are just brutal and the video started circulating about the news first journalist the photographer was getting beaten up by so many cops and people just got riled up and everyone around that area just started flooding in there but this is where things sort of get a bit murky. The people, they just gave the same energy that they gave here at, G, at uh, GGG. But once they broke in, like as they started breaking into the house, you can already like sort of feel that something's off the energy. And we stopped at the gate, we turned back and we came out but by the, like it was like less than a minute and the house was already on fire and then we start seeing videos of uh, the cops helping people out of that uh, wall jump that wall from the house and we, we things don't add up things just don't add up the rate at which that house because that's a massive compound it's not a small house it's a huge compound you can't just set fire to a, comp a concrete compound like that unless, I don't know, in my opinion, there's, there's something that, that, that happened there that we had nothing to do with. Because the moment we started seeing the fire, everyone, because I've been here for three and a half, three months, and I know how many people, like the ones who are from the Gamma, from the movement, who's been involved in this, movement for so long there were so many people there but as soon as the house started burning well everyone's just like no we've got to go this is something's up this is not something that we would do and we just all started walking back so there's something fishy about it <laughs> i'm not going to uh, say what happened or who's to be blamed but something was scripted in there that was so you, uh, yeah. obvious and it's, is obviously, I mean, it's, yeah. and it's not like you know petrol or kerosene is easy to come by these days right and you got the patra and i'll tell you one, one more thing i'll tell you one more thing i'll tell you all one more thing so when we went into the presidential palace this was at uh this was right after they broke in and then we came back to the presidential secretariat and we went back again that was after about two and a half to three hours and the gas canisters, these massive, those the tall gas cans, uh, they're still there. If people wanted to set fire, they could. They had all the fuel, uh, all the uh, manpower they wanted. If they wanted to set fire, fire to the governor's house, if they wanted to set fire to temple trees, 